Today, we're going to be making a custom Animal Crossing character inside of Blender. Let's go. Oh, so here we are over on the PC. On my second monitor, I have a reference images set up. So first off is we're going to go mesh cube. Okay, this is going to be for the head. So I'm going to scale it down slightly on the Z axis and the X and then maybe on the Y bit. Okay, I'm going to press Control 2 uh, to subdivide it like this. I'm going to side view S, Y, and now we need to add a couple edge loops. So I'm going to add one in the middle and then another one at the bottom. And let's go to front view, add another edge loop in the middle. And then we can just go wireframe, select the left side X vertices, and then add a mirror modifier, drag this up and now it's fine. So now we just need to round off the face. Uh, so we can kind of get a face shape like this and then also we can cut it down the side like this and then delete the back and just click on Y. So now it will mirror it so we can drag these back. A simple way to actually do this would be just to line everything up with a new cube. So do this all in edit mode or just do an object mode and then control A scale set all your transforms at one and then just subdivide this uh, to see what a actually circular object looks like. So you can kind of just trace the outline. And then if you don't want your mirror to clip through, just click on clipping over here. And then we can round this out there. So here we have this. And then now what we can do is at the bottom, we can round this out slightly. What you can also do is uh, I'm going to reduce this to one. And then I'm just going to go apply or apply the mirror, then apply the subdivision. Uh, like this and then we can do the same thing again cut away the left side add a mirror now what we're going to do is go to go to sculpt mode so just press control tab and then sculpt mode and then just g and you can kind of shape how you want the face to look that looks cool i'm just going to go control one just subdivide it again and there we go we have a face cool so let's go make a nose and before i do that i'm just going to go w shade smooth shift a go add a cube so I'm just going to make a round nose. So G, Y, drag this forward and then control two. That's okay. And then I'm just going to go add a simple, and uh, that's fine. Cool. So for the body, all we have to do is go add a cube, drag this down. And then we're going to go scale this in uh, like this. This is for like the shoulders and G, Z, drag it down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select the bottom and the top and shift E like this and then scale up the bottom so it's sub the skin and then for the legs what we're going to do is we're going to go cut this in half so I'm going to go select all of these like this and then S Y to round it out and select this S Y that looks okay and then maybe even select both of these and S round it out and I'm going to W shade smooth and then we can select this, these. So let's delete the left side like this. So X vertices, add my modifier and add a mirror. I'm going to drag this above the subdivision and then I'm going to select this face and then extrude it out. And then what I'm going to do is going to go to W loop tools circle. If you don't have this enabled, just go to the add ons tab uh, in edit preferences, go to uh, add ons and then just search loop tools like this and then you can get it and then i'm going to just go rotate it slightly s z zero and then just shift e just to get it to actually be flat okay so right now you can see this is not looking very good so just add another edge loop up here and round everything out a bit this should help Maybe let's go add an edge loop down the side. So just go like this. Go in the k click on K for the knife tool and just go cut like this here, here. Okay, then go to the back and do the same thing. So just go ding, ding there and then add an edge loop up the legs and then just select these two and J to join. Now we can alt S a bit, uh, turn flipping in the modifiers and deselect these two parts okay so let's scale down the middle so sy and then sy 
and then we can join these together like this i'll probably change this later to add the arms in but whatever it's fine so let's go for the knee so just put it forward and then drew slightly and yeah, extrude again uh maybe that's way too big i think let me just pull my reference image in so i can get an accurate representation of what it is so i'm just going to add my reference images change the opacity to 0.5 and line up the face and the body. Okay, so just line up the leg like this. Remember it's a game character, so the size and proportions do not have to make sense. And then select these two, shifty, and actually it's just change the increase. In this right panel, you can pull this up with N. Uh, that's N, not M. Uh, okay, cool. So that's good. Not actually sure if we need this edge. Let's just get rid of this. So just select it on both sides like this, and then X dissolve edges. I think it's fine without it doesn't change it in a massive way and we can just w shade smooth and bump up the subdivisions like that cool uh so now what we're going to do is we have to just make a simple foot shape so we can just select this bottom piece shift d p bar selection and then select everything a z to drag it down s z zero to flatten it on the z axis like this and then extrude out on the Y, like this, G, Y, and then we can just make a foot shape. Uh, if you want, you can flatten the whole bottom, like this, Shift E, Shift E, or let's just go over this right panel, changes to zero. And then flatten this again, G, Z, S, Z, zero, drag this down, and then go Go to edit mode and rotate this like that okay that's cool we can select these two together Control j join them done and then delete these two faces here that are on top of each other and then just select the two edges like this and then m at center select these m at center m at center and then m at center okay now i'm just going to take uh let me increase uh, yeah, we can keep the main crease higher. Okay, let's go on to making the arms. So, to make the arms, I'm just going to select this face, duplicate it, and then P bar selection. So, I'm going to scale this down, move it up here. Loop tools, so W loop tools circle, rotate it, move it in, and extrude it out. So, there. Uh, so, let's just select everything, take the main crease to zero, and then we're going to extrude again, like this. Uh, make the arms look or equal length, drag this in, we increase up all the way. Uh, we can just go rotate this in and then maybe put it like this. Okay. And then at the end, we're just going to have a ball. So I'm going to drag a cube in like this, shift A, cube, drag the cube up here, control S like that. And then let's change the subdivisions to one like this and go apply and then join this with the arm and then we're just going to add an edge loop in and then just delete this end part so now we can go try to join these together you can click on vertex snapping like this and try to join them and yeah okay so let's actually just select this whole edge so i can just alt right click and scale it down uh yeah okay so it's not really a simple way so if we delete these or just get it back to a cube scale it up uh, select this inset it and then use these to snap on like this that is about the only way to kind of get a s actually working thing like that uh, and then just shift n or uh, delete this face over here and then shade flat and shade smooth and then select this edge shift e and then drag this and maybe scale it down slightly oh that's fun cool so now we can adjust this slightly depending on how much of a crease you want and then you can just add an edge loop in the middle if you want to round it out more okay there so now we have the arms in and we can just add a bit of a crease if you wanted kind of up to you and yeah done with the arms you can also join them in to the body if you want so you can just like r to inset select this and then just select this edge so select the body Go to edit mode, select this edge, drag it up with G to R, G to R again, X faces, and then I'm going to turn off subdivision, 
and I'm going to snap like this. So G and then control to snap and then select the body, control J, add a subdivision and then select everything M by distance. Select this edge, me increase to zero and delete the face itself. Okay, so now we can just mess around with how much of a crease you want like that. Cool, so now we have the whole body. Now let's work on the eyes. So what I'm going to do to make the neck is I'm going to select these two, drag it down like that, and then I'm just going to go add edge loop. Well, actually, let's hide this head. I'm just going to go in the middle like this. Uh, just go there. So K to pull up this knife, put it in like that, and then J like that. Drag this. So go to top view, drag this in, and then select this one, Control B and V. Okay, that'll create this little triangle. And now we can extrude that up and that will be a neck. So to, to extrude, you just press uh, E. I'm going to get rid of this crease over here. Just round it out. Maybe get rid of this crease as well. Okay, cool. So now we have a neck and if we unhard, you can see that's what it looks like. Okay, and to make the ears, all we're going to do is do the same thing. So just go add in a cube. I'm going to scale it down. Put it over here, S, Y, and Y again to scale it on the local axis like this. And then just rotate with R, S, Z, Z, like that, Control 2 to subdivide it. And then select the edges like this. Okay, just select the faces like this. Shift E, drag it up. Maybe scale down the wire more. And then just shape it a bit. Okay, like this. We rotate it slightly, shade smooth, uh, we can even bump up the subdivision a bit. Uh, let's actually just take this crease down a bit. Okay, and then if you want, you can inset this, drag the crease to zero, and then just drag it in slightly like that. And then go add a mirror and choose the mirror object to be the head like this. And I think I want to drag this up slightly. Yeah, cool. 